Regan Same for International Boxing. I'm joined by Rosanna Cox. Rosanna, how are you today, mate? I'm great, thank you. Perfect. I mean, we're here at the uh, AJ White 2 press conference. I mean, huge fight for boxing. Just want to get your opinions on the fight before the start. What, who's going to win? Yeah. Joshua again. Perfect. We'll go, we'll go into that as well. So, um, one and no pro. I mean, training at uh, Sam Mullins at the Church of Boxing Club. I mean, what is it? What's it like training with Sam? Obviously, on the rise of kind of chef Clark and join the one you at the moment. What's it like training with? He's an amazing coach. I feel like I looked for such a long time to find a coach like him. I was training in New Zealand. And I, I did have an amazing coach in New Zealand, and then I moved to the UK. And I trained. I probably trained in like four different gyms for short periods of time um, and never felt right and then when I started training with Sam in 2017 I just felt like I'd finally found that that balance of everything that I was looking for in in a coach and in a gym so yeah um, I'm very happy to be starting my pro career with Sam. Perfect I mean his gym is fine at the moment obviously you've got you know, Chef Clark just won a British final eliminator, Joanna one new European champion Lucy Wildcard, Prince Patel and yourself as well I mean what's it like kind of training around those, those names in the gym as well? Um, it's amazing. I mean, I've been in the gym for so long and like seeing these people come up, you know, he's a uh, trained chef, like he was helping him out for years while he was in amateurs coming down from GB and then, um, you know, Joanna's been in the gym for a couple of years as well, so she moved from France. So it's nice to see everybody's progress and, and everybody getting really what they deserve in, in the gym and what Sam deserves. He, he works so hard with us. Like we all, you know, a, a lot of coaches will just throw all their fighters together. We all have our own slots or we put two of us together and he, he gives us so much time and attention individually. I think, yeah, he, he yeah, it's amazing. Perfect. I mean, he is a coach that I think slowly and surely but he is getting his flowers. He's known in the boxing scene, but I think out of everything he's getting his flowers soon. I mean, I want to go on to your professional debut in a minute, but we're just talking off camera kind of. Um, you started off boxing, but then you couldn't turn over pro. So then you went into MMA and now you're back into boxing. What kind of, what, what was the reason for that, for that stall in, uh, was it 2017 you said? 2018, 2018 yeah. 2018, so what was the reason for that? Why couldn't you turn over? Um, so they thought there was an issue with my um, brain. Like I had a, um, they thought that there was a cyst on my brain um, and then it came back clear, but they, yeah, they're just cautious, aren't they? So it, I was just devastated. Like I moved over from New Zealand 2016 to pursue my boxing career and I kind of like, I put all my eggs in one basket. You know, I dropped out of uni, I stopped all my hobbies. I had a lot of hobbies and, and it was kind of all, all I, well, even now, all I know is like training to fight, and um, yeah, so that's why I went to MMA from that. Perfect. I know you're back into boxing. Yeah. I mean, got given the all clear, which is all yeah. good as well. I mean, after all of that, how did it feel to kind of get your professional debut out of the way, but not only get your professional debut out of the way, but get a stoppage win as well? I've put so much pressure on myself. I feel like if I didn't get a stoppage, I would have been fuming. Like, even I, yeah. If if it wouldn't have gone like that, I probably would have um, questioned my, my, I don't know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I just, I visualize everything. And I have been visualizing that for years and years and years. And like, yeah. I, yeah, didn't expect it to go any other way, to be honest. Perfect. I mean, how much, obviously, you got it, you got, got there in the end, but how much confidence is that giving you getting that stoppage going for you? Um, I don't think it's changed anything. I mean, yeah, I've always been confident. I've always felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. So I feel like, yeah, I guess it's just confirmed to me that I can really do something in the sport. Perfect, and we look forward to seeing it as well, because I know we ask everyone this question who comes onto the, on the channel, is what does boxing mean to you? It's my whole life, it's everything to me. I feel like when I couldn't do it, I was just a broken person, and I feel like in the last few months and, and weeks, you know, the months preparing for the fight and then the weeks after the fight, like, I'm back to myself, I'm so happy, I haven't been this happy in years, and so, yeah, it's just everything to me. Perfect, Susanna Cox, thank you very much. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you.